October. The one month a year where no one calls you a weirdo for making videos with plastic skulls. What's that? Still weird? <laughs> That's okay. I love weird. To me, weird is unique. Weird is something special, something different. So today, we are gonna look at the strange, the spooky, and the spectacular side of Canada. These are six of Canada's scariest attractions. <laughs> now these attractions are in no particular order. Unfortunately, I haven't got to travel across the country to see all of these attractions in person yet. One day I hope to do all of that. Uh, but these are the six that in all of my research have really stood out as the big large attractions here in Canada. Ones that people travel out of the way to go to. Now, here in our country, we do have countless haunted houses. So for this list, I wanted to keep it to haunted attractions that have three or more haunted houses. Uh, just to make the list a little more concise. Now, some of these haunted houses on the list today are not going to be open this year. But I do believe that all six of these will be open again in the future. So all of you will have the opportunity to check these out. Now, please, if I forgot one of your favorite Halloween attractions, let me know down in the comments below. And before I start, please make sure to hit subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you a whole bunch more videos in the future, covering a whole bunch of amazing, fun topics. Since I am planning on making this video about 539 seconds long, I thought I'd end the video today by eating 539 sharp nails. So if you stick around to the end of the video, You'll see that. The first on our list takes us to the biggest haunt in Canada, Canada's Wonderland's Halloween Haunt. Now I thought before I tell you a little bit about each one of these Halloween attractions, I would read you the description that each one of these attractions released to the press for the 2019 season, just so you can get an overview of what the haunted attraction has to offer. So beginning Friday, September 27th and running on select nights to October 27th, you can run all you want, but you can't hide from the 700 plus terrifying monsters that we'll have on the loose. Prepare yourself for a screaming good time at Halloween Hunt, the ultimate collection of chills and thrills in the greater Toronto area. Navigate through the darkness of horrifying haunted mazes while discovering a world of living nightmares and elaborate scare zones. And don't miss our collection of wicked live entertainment. <laughs> this year would have been its 16th season. Wonderland's first Halloween season was back in 2005, while it was still owned and operated by Paramount Parks, then called Beer Fest. Fast forward to 2019, the park now has nine haunted houses and seven scare zones. It doesn't look like it'll be opening for the 2020 season, but we all look forward to its return in 2021. The next Halloween attraction is just down the road from Canada's Wonderland. It is Screamers Toronto. Now I'm going to read you what it says about Screamers on the website, and then I'll tell you a little bit about what I think of Screamers. Now, Screamers is Toronto's original and best haunted attraction, celebrating our 26th year of guests living the fear in 2019. Screamers is a pay one price event, and the price includes admission, all seven haunted walkthrough themed horror mazes featuring over 120 live scare actors, unlimited rides on the midway of horrors, and the terrifying pleasure of viewing our new illusion act, The Kill Show. Now let me just start off by saying I actually had the pleasure to work at Screamers over the past two years, performing in the Kill Show in 2018 and 2019, uh, which is a massive gory horror illusion show. Now, the two other people that I've built the Kill Show with, who built all the props in the show and act in the show with me, actually designed and built one haunted house in 2018 and one house in 2019 at Screamers, which I believe are two of the best haunted houses there. So I do have a bit of a connection to Screamers, but I do really think every year they step up their game. The management really, really cares about making the event as great as possible. So they put all of their efforts into every single one of their haunted houses every year. 
Um, if you are ever in the Toronto area in October, I highly recommend you check out Canada's Wonderland and Screamers. Next Halloween attraction I haven't got to go to yet, and I am very excited to attend one day. It is Fright Nights at Peony Playland in Vancouver. And I'll read you a little bit of what it says from their press release from 2019. Running most evenings from early October until Halloween night. Fright Nights is Vancouver's largest and most popular venue for celebrating Halloween. General admission includes access to 20 carnival rides, 8 different haunted houses, and the Monsters of Schlock sideshow. Now looking at the pictures and videos online, it looks to have really high quality sets, animatronics, and costumes, some of which look original and are really awesome. It seems to be the same sort of experience you would get going to Wonderland or Screamers, where you have some rides and a few haunted houses to go through. I can't really compare the quality because I haven't gone yet. Um, but please, if anyone has been, let me know in the comments what you think. Next, we have Haunt Manor in Niagara Falls. Haunt Manor is a theatrical hayride, corn maze, and seven separately themed haunted houses. Each year, the overall theme changes and the haunted houses and characters give you a new experience. So yearly, you will get immersed in a whole new world of creepiness. Now, I have been to Haunt Manor in the past and I really, really enjoyed my experience there. Uh, the outdoor setting and even just the, the barns and the buildings you're in gives it a really cool, old, creepy atmosphere, even if you take out all of the actors. It was great. I remember pulling up in our car and we actually had a scare actor banging on the window as we showed up. It, it was a bit of a shorter experience. I think we got through the whole thing and all the haunts in about an hour. Uh, so compared to the previous ones on this list, it seems to be a bit of a shorter experience, but still was a great time while I was there. And I'd highly recommend you check it out if you're anywhere near the Niagara Falls area. And it looks like they're going to be open for the whole 2020 season this year. So if you are in the area, definitely check out Haunt Manor. Next up, we have Fear Farm in Kitchener, Ontario. Now, I haven't been to Fear Farm myself, but Brandon and Craig actually have. So if you want to hear more about Fear Farm, go back and look at Amusement Insider's video on Fear Farm. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about the place and what it says on the website. Recommended for ages 13 and up. For those who are brave, there is Fear Farm. With six haunted attractions, food areas, beer garden, and live entertainment. Now this year they are offering a different kind of experience called Fear Farm Presents Haunted Campfire Experience, which is a truly VIP experience, a two hour private campfire experience for your group of five or 10, including a haunted outdoor adventure through the best of Fear Farm's outdoor haunts. If you're nearby Kitchener at all, if that's something you wanna check out, I definitely would. It seems very, very cool. Number six takes us to Ottawa for Fright Fest at Saunders Farm. At night, haunting season features six haunts, live shows, street theater and tavern, and food truck court to entertain adults and teens. Now, right around the time you're going to be watching this video, Amusement Insiders is going to post another video all about Saunders Farm as well. So I'm not going to go too much into that. You can check out the full length video all about this year's Fright Fest. Now I do know that it is going to be open for the 2020 season and it is going to be operating at a really low capacity anywhere from 5 to 10 percent. So if you're interested in going at all to Fright Fest in Ottawa, make sure to check out that video from Amusement Insiders. I guess thank you for making it to the end of the video. <laughs> he sort of made a big promise at the beginning that I was going to eat 539 nails. So I don't know if I'm so happy you made it to the end. But I did go over time. I did go over 539. So I thought I'd just use the full 1,000 nails instead. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all my friends out there. This is how you eat 539 plus a whole lot more nails. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video, everyone.
See you guys next time.